this chapter, we are going to learn on phase equilibrium. So first, we have to understand what is defined by phase. Phase is actually a physically distinctive form of matter. Matter in this case here, we have solid, liquid and gas. So as we go up the temperature to a certain value, we are going to see the transformation of solid to liquid through a melting process and then the liquid will undergo vaporization and turn into gas and the gas can be condensed back to liquid and the liquid can be freeze to solid we can also transform the solid to gas directly by sublimation and the gas can also directly transform to solid by deposition so here we have solid as the greatest order because the particles are closely packed together and it has a definite volume and shape. But liquid having a definite volume but not having a definite shape. But for gas, they have both the indefinite volume and shape. How about we convert the basic knowledge that we have previously into a phase diagram. In this case, we can summarize the condition at which substance exists as a solid, liquid or gas. So for the phase diagram, we plot the pressure against temperature. And we have the solid region here. We have the liquid region here. We have the gas region here. And all of the regions are separated by their own phase boundary. Here what we call as a sublimation point curve, the boundary that separate solid and gas. Here we have the melting point curve, the boundary that separates solid and liquid. Here we have the vaporization point curve, the boundary that separate liquid and gas. At certain temperature and pressure here we have a triple point. In this case the phases which is which are solid, liquid and gases, can coexist at equilibrium. At high temperature here, we call it as a critical temperature. And critical pressure, we have a critical point. In this case, the substance can exist in liquid and gas. However, when we increase the temperature above the critical point, we have the supercritical fluid. In this case, the substance can no longer exist as a liquid or gases. It is in between. So here we have water phase diagram. For a typical water phase diagram, we also have the sublimation point curve. We have the melting point curve and we also have the vaporization point curve. As we go to the right or we increase the temperature, we can see the transformation of solid to liquid and liquid to gas. And the transformation of solid to liquid can happen along this line, which is the melting point curve. And this curve is slightly tilted to the left. This one is the negative slope. So at standard pressure 180N, we can see the transformation of solid to liquid at standard melting standard melting point which is at zero degree c here we also at standard pressure 180m we can see the standard boiling point of water at 100 degree c when we uh, decrease the pressure below the triple point here we can see the solid can only undergo sublimation process the solid can only transform to gas below the triple point. For CO2 phase diagram, we are having almost similar with water phase diagram but the slope between solid and liquid here is a positive slope because the slope is slightly tilted to the right. At standard pressure 180M here, we can see that at this point, the solid CO2 can only transform to gas by sublimation at this temperature. When we increase the pressure to this value, we can see that the CO2 can have a solid liquid gas, which is the, uh, the phases are coexist at equilibrium at this temperature. And when we uh, increase the temperature at standard pressure here, 
still the solid CO2 can only transform to gas at 25 degree C. So this happen below the triple point. When we increase the pressure up to critical pressure here, we can have a critical point here at this temperature. Uh, critical uh, temperature. And when we increase uh, the temperature beyond the critical temperature, we can have the supercritical fluid. And comparing all these three phases, we can see that when we increase the uh, pressure, the solid CO2 having higher density than liquid or gas. For water phase diagram, we can see that the liquid is having the highest density among the three.